I'm back again with another video for you guys. Yes, you guys. So this video is gonna be a catfishing 101. I'm looking real busted right now. And I just wanna look cute. So this is gonna be a catfishing video. I haven't made one in like a year. The last one I made was like in December 2018. So it's been like a good year. I'm gonna like do my hair, do my makeup, talk to you guys like I usually do. That's like the content i make yeah so we're gonna get started i'm looking really freaking busted oh my goodness we're gonna fix up the hair and everything and it's gonna be really fun so let's just get started so i think this is the best lighting we're gonna get y'all so i'm gonna show y'all how to catfish yourself into my thumbnail i am a proud catfish um the fact that i can even turn myself into that is such an accomplishment hey y'all i wanted to pop in really quickly to tell you guys about this form that me my sister and my friend made it's called encourage auxilium auxilium is help in latin and it's basically a place where you could chat with any of us about whatever you're going through because we know that since this pandemic has come up we are forced to stay inside and quarantine and to be around our family some of us don't have the best relationship with our family members or siblings or whoever's in the house that's why i really a form where you guys could just text us and we'll reply in a couple of hours at most um yeah so if you guys would like to chat with us about how you're feeling and if you're feeling some type of way then you could definitely check out the description box it is completely free that's encourageauxilium.org i know some people do not want to talk to their guidance counselors or teachers like people that the school offered to you because it's like you don't understand me we're all teens here and we all are going through some things so that's why i really wanted to make this website it's completely free again um it's just my way to give it back because people are going through things and i feel for you guys and i'm very fortunate to not really be going through that and i know some people aren't so if you know a friend or you or a family member whoever would need this forum then again that's encourageauxilium.org it is down in the description box um yeah i did this in a big braid because i recently like trimmed my hair if you guys watched my transformation video you would probably know that but i recently trimmed my hair and because my hair is like really damaged and i'm kind of done dyeing it for a little while so yeah kind of need to wash my hair so we start out with this right so we take our spray bottle and oh i don't know why the mist little spray isn't working yeah we're gonna put that all throughout our hair and then we're gonna use some of this it's the main choice tropical sealing cream that's what it looks like it's pretty nice i i like it if any products mix with eco but I put that in the comments and like doesn't get all white and stuff. When you pull it back, right? Don't forget the back. Don't forget the back. I kind of want to just put braids in, but I'm kind of scared to go outside. I'm going to probably buy it online. So I'm taking the Eco Styler Gel. It's the huge one I'm taking. Um, I mean, they're all the same. It's the olive oil one I'm taking, I mean. Yeah, it's the olive oil one. And I'm just going to be putting that throughout my hair. It's pretty thick. I like it. I kind of okay so at first I use the argan oil one I use the olive oil one I don't know I think this one's thicker um in my opinion but you will never catch me using the clear one talk about some flake free it's not flake free so I just put that all throughout my hair a lot of gel kind of because I guess my hair down the slickest. Okay. So I'm taking this brush. This is my favorite thing ever. It's like the perfect size. And it's so hard. Like I love hard bristle brushes. So we're just going to stick that down. Oh, this is just... the back just make sure it looks okay i mean nobody could really see back there but make sure it looks okay you kind of have to like see what you're doing in your head and then i take a denim brush and then 
I comb out the top part. It's like a comb. A diamond brush is a comb. It's like a brush comb. It's basically a comb. I just like using that because we don't want to just put gel on the first layer of hair. You want to penetrate the gel throughout your hair so it could be the flattest. And then we're going to put some gel again. And then we're going to take that, take the back, and then tip, pull, you can going pull your hair. I like to take two rubber bands, but one will do today. Okay, I did it. Like stretch your hair out. You should do like um, cornrows. Leave it in for a couple days and then do this. You get the maximum volume and you could get your curls defined. So next, we're gonna use some edge control to do our edges because gel does not hold my edges. So I'm gonna take the Style Factor Edge Booster um, Edge Control and I'm just gonna be taking that on my edges obviously and also in the back of my head. Ooh, I'm tired. I don't like to do too much with my edges with this style because I just like the minimalistic look of this. I always struggle to do my edges on this side. And then I take front edges and then I just kind of play around with them. Okay. You kind of look bald though, not gonna lie. So, I've been single for mad long now. So whatever, I'm chilling. So we're done with the hair. Fun fact, I hate wrapping my hair. I hate putting like a scarf on it because it like messes up my edges. So I do it with a really hard edge control. If I do it with this, then I have to put on it to like dry it out. Cute hairstyle. Let me turn around for you. I literally bedazzled my Air Forces the other day. Can you guys see it? It's so cute. It's actually really cute. Um, yeah, I did it all by myself. Stop playing with me. I'm gonna cover up the scars that I have with concealer. So I just take that and just put that on the scar that I have. Um, the no makeup makeup look is the best in my opinion. It like looks the best. You just wanna like cancel out all the little spots you got. If you got any. I'm gonna put some concealer underneath my eyes. We're gonna blend it out with the brush because I cannot find my beauty blender. So I like try posting on Instagram for like like every up other day and it went pretty well like um yeah people I just I can't post like everybody posts on Instagram because one if it's not Instagram worthy I'm not posting it that's just not me I can't post something that's not really Instagram worthy like I just can't press post it has to be like it can't be like a like I don't know how to describe it. It can't be like something that I would just post on my snap because it's like regionally cute. There's steps to this. There's steps. I can't just post a cute selfie I just took. Like, that's just not how it works. It really gotta go through all these stages for me to post it. You guys should tell me how it's like going. Your schools and stuff. Like, how is the grading system going? How are y'all doing? Actually, don't tell me how you're doing in the comments. I have a website for that, I remember. Um encourage auxilium don't forget that if you ever need to like contact somebody it's right there in the description box it's like free advice and stuff so i live in new york if you guys didn't know um and my school does not do letter grades 
I've only seen those in TV shows. I've never, I don't understand it. Like, I understand that, like, a 90 and above is an A or whatever and stuff like that. I get that. But I just don't understand, like, like, when you're applying to colleges, do they not see your actual numerical grade? I just don't get that at all. But you guys didn't know, my sister, she's a senior this year. And it's, like, really devastating. Like, she's really graduating, like, by clicking a button. Like, that's really weird. I feel really bad for the senior this year. I mean, she's just chilling over there. She doesn't really care that much. But I know a lot of people have been looking forward to, like, prom and stuff. And it's just kind of sad. All of this is happening so quickly. But look, man, we gotta do what we gotta do to get this thing out. Because I have some summer plans. Not just vacay plans, like pre-college programs that I wanted to do. I wanted to do it last summer, but it was too late to apply. It's just kind of like, you know, annoying that this is all happening in like a year that a lot of people thought like would be a good year. Like I really thought this year was gonna be amazing. Like a movie 2016, like name it. I thought this year was gonna be it except for what it is. I think people just had really high expectation for this year and this year felt that. Like it felt like these bitches have mighty high expectations. Ah. The good thing about this corona mess is that um, the regions were canceled like period like i was so relieved and happy when i heard about the regions um canceling my school made it so that um because like even though you don't take the regions your district could still give you a final exam and my district decided not to give us a final exam like a written like a test they decided to like do projects instead and like i'm mighty good at projects so and also regents is is like a fifth marking period grade for us for me at least it's a whole fifth marking period grade and it's like there is no fifth marking period this year like one score is a whole marking period grade like that was so annoying let's talk about too hot to handle i said love is mine too hot to handle you open up and it's like they introduce everybody um everybody's mad fine everybody's cute except for jesus he was annoying i forgot his real name everybody just referred to him as jesus i thought it was kind of weird but okay first person that catches my eye no one absolutely no one catches my eye nobody was just like you're fine as hell like no one really rung that bell for me there was this the the black guy he was short he was like really like hyper i don't know his energy was really hyper and that's not my energy so i was just kind of like okay the tall black guy he was the accountant he had me so weak bro because he was just like i don't go to the ladies the ladies come to me da, da, da. you don't chase after girls like i was just like you must be so fun to be around like so much fun i think his name was kelt rels one of those he did not care about any of them he was just like i'm trying to get out of here with my money what's her name um francesca francesca i have a love-hate relationship with francesca honestly i liked her because she, without her it would have been really boring um the blonde one too i think it was one blonde i'm trying to switch my head no, the one, the, the negative Nancy one. I'm gonna call her negative Nancy. But negative Nancy and Francesca, they were like really toxic and I love them because they weren't like too bad. They were just spicing things up. So I, I, I was okay with them being there. At first, I was like, when she kissed the guy, I was like, okay, that's a bit selfish. She was involved in losing like 20 grand. I was so mad. I was like, what the fuck? She didn't give a fuck because she was an Instagram model or whatever. And then she was just like, honestly, I make a good living. So I don't really care about everybody else. That was kind of shitty of her, but again she kept things interesting the guy she was with was an asshole i don't know why she liked him like imagine kissing somebody and then they run and tell everybody they're the one that started the kiss when it's clear on camera that they're the one that started the kiss and then they lie in front of everybody make you look like a hoe bro i would have been so tight i was like 
girl that's a clear sign that like he's mad annoying like you need to dip bro he's super immature like who does that she literally lied in front of everybody and then she still was like i still have feelings for him like girl what um who was i rooting for i was ro rooting for sharon and Rhonda. no i was rooting for sharon oh my god i was rooting for Rhonda and david yeah like david was so cute like he was <sighs> great Rhonda, I don't even know. I loved her vibe. I see I liked her. She was pretty chill. Like it was really kind of annoying. It's like, damn, bring another black girl on here. Oh my god. They put one black girl and call it a day. Like, what bro? Like I thought with the new people that came in, oh my god, they're gonna bring in another black girl. I was truly mistaken. They brought in um sorry, like I'm just saying people but like i forgot their names he looked racially ambiguous i'm not sure what his name was but when they brought him on i was like okay he's cute he's okay not bad like i kind of felt that was sharon so i was like okay he's kind of cute he's kind of cute he's kind of cute got it got it, got it. he's an asshole oh my god they're so great at bringing shitty personalities i was like like he got that british girl thinking like oh my god i want to i want to like date you and whatever but in reality he had his eye on francesca trying to break up her and i forgot his name the australian boy he really tried it um and when the british girl confronted him he was like i don't know what you're talking about bro i'm gonna remove my he does that light skin thing like with the hair like he was just like with the i was like they could have brought in another black girl like the really tall woman who jesus thought that he had a connection with like i thought her and jesus would like bond or whatever the blonde negative nancy she had a big time crush on francesca not gonna lie i was like are you in love with francesca god damn all up in her business it was crazy i like that the ending at francesca shouldn't have gotten anything francesca and that australian guy should not have gotten any money whatsoever um if i was the producers of that show they would not get anything like they literally just kept breaking the rules i was just like like is it that hard to not make out or have any sexual contact for ten thousand dollars each like it's not that difficult but overall the show was pretty good i give it a seven definitely a seven nothing higher nothing lower it was a good watch there was some good moments in there right now what am i watching i'm watching a really good show it's called ozark it's on netflix um i'm pretty sure you've heard of it um i think it's like kind of hot right now i'm not sure i'm still on season one and stuff but it's going really good he was annoying not even gonna lie he was annoying um but he like never had an affair god damn like he was just trying to take care of his freaking family like even though he like showed no type of affection whatsoever he was still trying to get that bag the kids treat their parents is just really questionable like why would you let your kids speak to you that way it just kind of like blows my freaking mind she was just like well you're the reason why i'm like like shut your mouth it just blows my mind and what was really sad was when she was like 15 in the show like in the show not like in real life and then like she hooked up with this 20 year old really cute looking guy and this nigga left the next day it was it was really sad. I'm like, damn, sis. You lost your virginity to this guy. He just dipped the next day. Like, he didn't even say nothing to you. He went to a whole different state. Like, he just went to a whole different state without telling you nothing. Like, how does it feel to be a fool? So I'm going to outline my eyebrows. If you're ever going to get, like, a palette from Juvia's Place, this is the number one palette I would recommend anybody to get. It is the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. It's what it looks like. You could use this for a contour or this for contour. You could use this for blush or this for blush. Like, it's an eyeshadow palette, but it's so useful. Like, definitely A1. If you guys did not follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Like, go follow me on there. I be posting some cute ass fucking photos. Like, you're dead ass missing out if you are not following me on there. So, and then I like take this into the brow. Who taught me that? motherfucking jackie aina a brown wing liner i'm taking the this brown shade in the middle right there 
and I'm gonna create like this wing. I don't want to put tape on my eyes, so I'm just gonna like freehand it and stuff. Let's talk about black Twitter. Oh my fucking god. I am officially scared of Twitter. Uh, if you ever end up on Twitter for doing something bad, you're like done for. Especially for being racist, you're literally done for. And people will be like, how do you find black Twitter? Black Twitter finds you. This girl, she got caught for being freaking racist with her boyfriend, right? And um, she was just like, how to make an N word um, with the ER. He, she was like, first, no dad, eat fried chicken, all these stereotypes, right? So, um, Black Twitter got a hold of it and contacted her school. Um, this guy, I think he lost his wrestling um, scholarship. She's not going to her dream university anymore. And then, like, she started crying and stuff. And everybody was like, You think we're gonna feel bad for you? We're not gonna feel bad for you. And it was like a lot of people that was using trend on TikTok to be racist. And it's like, you can make a joke without being racist. You can be funny without being racist. You could be funny without offending people. Like there's ways to be funny guys. Like but some people don't get that. And it's kind of like, well, you have to learn the hard way now. I, I officially made this thing where like, I don't stand anybody. I do not stand no one. I will never start standing anybody. <laughs> Because you never know. You actually never know. That whole Emma Lou thing got me effed up. I was so sad. I was like, I believed in you. We all loved you. So I'm using these lashes. They're pretty natural. They're so cute. So I'll put my lashes on and I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to show y'all the shirt that I put on in the photo and the thumbnail. Because I know people are going to ask me for details and stuff. So I'm going to show y'all the shirt. I put these earrings on. These earrings on. They're like so cute. They're from Forever 21. I bought a couple lip liners. But they weren't like my like perfect shade of brown that I like. Um, so I bought this 99 cent lip thing from what's it called when wild and i line my lips with it and then i take my nyx a butter gloss you could just use a clear lip gloss so i'm gonna take some clear lip gloss and i'm gonna put it on top so this is the shirt that i was wearing it is from forever 21 it like slides open um your like chest is like kind of exposed over here some cleavage going straight down your boobs so forever 21 has such nice clothing um i'm not sponsored i wish i was this was my catfish transformation i own up to it i am a catfish but there is no but i'm just a catfish thank you guys so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up do not forget to like comment share and subscribe and i guess i'll see you in the next video if you really you like this video and like what we talked about don't forget to check out encourage auxilium.org so yeah